Hey guys, it's Rob J here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about some of the best ants that you can capture yourself this year, and they're great for beginners. So I've picked out my favourite six beginner ants, and what I've done is I've put a little um, descriptive cards together about them, and what we're going to do is work our way through the six, and basically I'll explain and show what time of month and um, what months you should be looking for what species and we'll just run through and most of these are for the UK but I have chucked in some common European ants as well so without further ado let's get going okay now starting off with the black garden ant this is by far the best beginner ant and one of the most common and favoured beginner ants to start with and with them being in abundance they're quite easy to locate and catch these are quite literally one of the best beginner ants to start with as they have and can grow into some of the best colonies that you can be keeping And they can be found in July to August, uh, especially after a rain shower. Moving on. Okay, the yellow meadow ant, another fantastic beginner ant, and is closely related to the first black garden ant. But the only difference in these is the workers are slightly smaller, but they are all yellow in appearance. The queen herself has some yellow legs and you'll see some variant differences. But these are also an absolute great ant to keep as your first rants or even your second or thirds. But I can't recommend the Lassius family enough. And as they are related to the black garden ant, their nuptial flights are the same July to August. Okay, moving on. Okay, so now we're moving on to the European fire ant. Now this can be found commonly in the UK, and in the UK we commonly refer to it as the red ant. Now these are a stinging ant species, so maybe not recommended for the youngest of ant keepers but certainly one of the greatest um, ant colonies you can get your hands on and they're very common now they are a damp loving species so be sure to give them extra dampness in their nest and their nuptial flights start between July to mid August and as I mentioned, these can be found in the UK and Europe. Another of one of the most common and most loved beginner ants is the Mesa Barbarus. Now these can be found in Europe, not the UK. And these start their nuptial flights between September and October. And they are as common as our last year's Niger are over in the UK. But these are still great ants, and are referred to as the harvester ant. And this is basically because they collect seeds, store them in little chambers called granaries, and then the larger ants chew the seeds into a form of what we like to refer to as ant bread, quote. And um, that's their main source of food. But they do have insect matter and other foods as well. So they are an excellent species to get as your first ones. Now if you can't capture these wild, you can always buy them from antkit.uk in the UK. But they are a brilliant and they have various different casts, which is essentially you get like a big headed ant for chewing seeds, smaller ants, nursery ants, that sort of thing. Not officially, but they do have casts. And to round off the pick, I've picked a carpenter ant, as this particular species is very common 
in Europe and is also one of the largest ants on the list here. Now the brood, essentially the babies from egg to ant, is much longer. They're very short with the last year's Nigers, which is why they're always good for beginners. But if you've got a bit more patience, then the Camponotus species of wood ant is also a fantastic beginner ant. Um, especially as all the ants in my list can be kept at room temperature which is sometimes a deal breaker with some people if they can't be so I hope you've enjoyed my list now these all these ants are due to have their nuptial flights this year and it's not too late to plan ahead and get ready for it so the idea of this video is that I didn't cover every single species I covered the best ones for beginners, I covered mostly the UK and a few in Europe and this is mixed and matched because some can be found in both and I've given you the dates when to look out for them. It's also very handy if you're planning on catching them is to find yourself a couple of their nests now by finding their workers and then you know to check within 20 to 100 meters for the queens when nuptial flights are, when are, are commencing essentially so if for my sake I wanted to catch some last year's Niger queens well I have four nests um, in my garden so when the queens are flying I'll see them they'll be everywhere and what I'll do is I'll just walk about 20 50 meters away and start looking for de-winged queens or queens that have mated which if the queen is not trying to fly off, but she has wings, but she's more interested in looking in little cran nooks and crannies, then she's mated, even if she's got wings. Okay, that's that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and it was obviously aimed at beginner ant keepers. It's not for everybody, but I hope the ones that have watched it, enjoyed it, and I'll catch you again with new review videos and other ant videos soon. Thanks a lot guys.